We're the Punctured Crew, Australia's premier body piercing studio. Meet our team, our honey bee. She's our belly dancing queen. Renee, nay nay, yes yes, one of our best. Get your geek on with the wizard, Sir Dion. Litza loves the game, loves the pain. Five foot nothing and has no shame. Benji, he knows his stuff, he'll hook you up. Tane and Cass, crude and crass versus fine and sass. Good golly, Miss Holly. And I'm Corrie, the boss lady, who has to keep these punks in line. Together, we are the Punctured Crew, a whole new reality for body piercing in the 21st century. Get punctured. And remember, kiddies, do not try this at home. On this episode of Punctured, I pierce a 15-year-old girl, her name's Harmony. Mom doesn't know I'm here, so like, if she sees this, she's gonna crack it. This episode, I will be doing my very first bridge piercing on a super old maid of mine, Shelly. As you can see, I'm not a stranger to the piercing world. In this episode, I'm going to be piercing Liz. She's getting a staple bar in the back of her neck, which is called a nape piercing. Piercings. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to them. My name's Liz. I'm 23 and I'm a kinder teacher. My name's Ruben, um, I'm a graphic designer but I also work at a bar on the weekends. I have a thing for redheads, I love freckles. I want freckles myself <laughs> but obviously that's not going to happen. I like twins. But Ruben happens to be a twin. Not identical. No. <laughs> well, we met at, um, at a bar like, quite a few years ago now, both a little bit drunk. I just got my first job that day and I went out celebrating <laughs> with my girlfriend. It was closing time at the one bar that I was at and then I went to his bar. This probably remembers better than I do, <laughs> like we were really drunk. Anyway, I got her number and uh, we met up and then the first actual date went a lot better. A lot more yeah, memories. a lot. <laughs> I already have a nose piercing. I've got about one, two, three, six ear piercing, so I've got my tragus done, I've got my helix and I've just got my lobes done. I've had dermals before, they rejected it really, really badly. One on the left side got infected really badly. I actually got them done twice, so the first time my skin rejected it, it was kind of lopsided to the other one. Yeah, so it, was it just like, wasn't a good job. The second time, it just rejected was not pretty. The one on the right side, however, I was having a bit too much fun one night and it got caught in my hair and I ripped it up by accident and that really hurt. I also had a navel done before but that rejected. My skin does not like piercing. Yeah, but super sensitive skin. <laughs> Hates alcohol as well so I can't use the swipes, just rashing. My skin doesn't like it but I like it so. I'm here today to get my nape done on the back of my neck. Really worried that this one's gonna reject too. It also it'll hurt. And also it will hurt a lot. But you're here for moral support. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's why you're here. <laughs> I hope I don't faint because the last time I remember, it was bleeding so much that like it dripped all the way here and then... Yeah, Liz is a bleeder. I'm a, bleeding I'm a bleeder, I'm, a, I'm not, not pretty excited. Liz also hums when she gets pierced, so she might, you'll hear her singing a little bit. That's Liz, that's, that's her yeah. way of doing it, the fact. <laughs> so you get some free tunes. Had a couple of accidents before, nothing too serious, but piercings, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to them. Hello, hello, hello. How are we? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. What's going on? Um, I was just wondering if I could get a piercing today. Yeah, for sure. What do you want to get done? My friend B works here. Yeah. Piercing. Is she in today? Yes, she is. Hello. Hey. <laughs> how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. It's been ages, it Shelly. Has. So good to see you. you too. What are we doing for you today? I wanted to get my bridge pierced. Oh! How exciting. exciting! Now you do know that bridge is one of the only piercings that I haven't tried before. Really? Yeah, so... <laughs> a little bit of hesitance, but I'm pretty sure I actually like, nailed this one down. Yeah, so. I think, I think I trust you. You She's trust me? We've, we've been She's friends for years, you know, you can punch me in the face if it goes wrong, <laughs> we can even it out a little bit, but I reckon we'll be absolutely fine today. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Shelly is a pretty extreme sort of chick, as you can probably tell. She's had a lot of piercings before and uh, she's quite experimental with her body mod um, and I think that's where we clicked off when we first met. 
She's a rad chick and I love her to death. So I'm here today with my friend Shelly, who I've known for a fair few years. And we're both pretty excited today because you're getting your bridge done, aren't you? I am. And this is actually the first bridge that I will have ever done. Hopefully nothing goes too wrong and I don't end up jabbing your eyeball or something crazy like that. <laughs> My name's Shelley, I'm 22 years old, I'm a student and pretty much love all things creative. As you can see, I'm not a stranger to piercing well. First piercing, I was 13 and I started stretching my ears when I was 14. Pretty young. It is a bit. What did they say at school? <laughs> they hated it. They probably. hated it. Yeah. The teachers followed me around and waited for me to do something wrong. <laughs> They are currently 35 millimetres big, but I'm still planning on stretching them bigger. And I'm getting my bridge today, which has always been my favourite piercing, and I'm very excited to get it. I was actually pretty surprised that you didn't have it yet. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> well, didn't I'm like, didn't you have your bridge done? <laughs> Guess not. It was just meant for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've got the face for it. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, how can I make your day awesome? I'm here to get a nape piercing. Liz wanted to get her nape pierced, which is the back of her neck, uh, just below the hairline. I used to have dermals, but I saw that they, you, there's like a surface one that I can do. Looks like a staple. Yes, That'd it does. be the staple bar. Um, That's what we usually do the nape with if you don't want a dermal, so it's definitely possible. Okay. Um, they're a bit out of my reach, so I might get your help, big fella. Uh, we were looking down here. Just that one. Just awesome. It. Thank you. So does that look like what you were looking for? Yes. Brilliant. You said you had dermals before, so are they out or are they still in? So they're out. Okay. My skin rejected them ah. and I ripped one up flat. So. Not cool. <laughs> no, not good. Character mm. building though. So yeah. we can definitely piece you with that one mm -hmm. and it shouldn't reject. Are you allergic to anything or have you got any issues with normal jewellery? I want to get, you know, bling and stuff like yeah. that, but I think I can only wear Titanium. Found out she was allergic to the nickel content in the surgical steel and couldn't wear it, so we were able to pierce it with a staple bar that was uh, titanium. We don't have any bling in the titanium, but we do have some coloured options, so if you want a bit of purple or a bit of blue, okay. we can do that, some aqua, whatever you like. So the piercer will know what size? They will pierce you with a longer bar to compensate for any swelling. And all you'll get to see are the two bolts. So that's why I said if you want to put some colour in there, jazz it up, definitely can do it. And that's all that people will see from the back of your neck. Okay. All right, Sweet. no problems. Is there any other things you want to get pierced today or that's it? And that's it for now. All right. See if I can handle that. No problems. We'll come over, I'll sign you up and we can stab you. Liz actually was humming the theme song to Smurfs. I don't know the first thing about any of this stuff, so... It's just a needle through the tongue.